I mean, I want to ask don't you a question. He is I, evil, I'm, 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 and he's an evil man. Yeah. My father's looking at me when I cuss. Look, you know why people cuss? I just want to, not to be mean. I don't want to know that. They think it brings them authority. Men don't bring them authority. Listen to me. I know that. I know that. Go ahead. I want to know how you can judge all these ladies. Hey man. How do you know? You're right, and they're not. That's By the word of God. That's all I want to know. By the word of God. That's all I want to know. Watch this. I'll show you how. How can you prove that? The Seven-day Adventists. Let's use this as an example. They're trusting the Sabbath day to save them. They're like little children who think they've got something. And it's this guy's answer. What's your reference? What's your reference? What is Paul the Apostle? Here's my reference. Paul the Apostle said in the Scriptures. All right, don't interrupt me. He said, Christ has become of no effect unto you, whosoever you are that are justified by the law, you have fallen from grace. Man, you trust in the law to save you? You're not trusting Jesus now. Do you believe in Christ? 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 Do you believe in
There ain't no hell. And I don't think there's any consequence for their sin. And they've been taught a lie, man. You know? And you know what? It's a false gospel. If you're trusting the Sabbath to save you, you're under the law. And, and this, this is what God says. Just say one more thing about the Sabbath. Any seven day of in this book is like a broken record. He won't answer questions. I'm telling you right now. He never answers questions. He always answers a question with a question. He doesn't know. The only thing he knows is certain little parts of the Bible, and that's all he understands. He's a man, this guy, man. He is certainly short read. He doesn't know the whole Bible, never will, never have. Well, sir, it's possible. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him who calleth you into. Moved. Moved from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Now what was the other gospel? Let's back up, man. It was trust in the works of the law to be saved. Which, watch this, which is not another gospel, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel of heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which ye have preached, let him be forever cursed. And if any man preach another gospel, let him be forever cursed. Now watch this one. Unto you, then that ye have received, let him be accursed. Did Paul anywhere in the scriptures tell us to keep the, keep the Sabbath? Yes. Sir. No, he didn't. He said, he said, did any of you receive the Holy Ghost by the works of the law or keeping the law? You keep Sunday. Or was it by hearing the faith? You keep Sunday. Not in a religious way? No way, man. What do you Because keep? Jesus is my Sabbath. Here's what you've missed, man. In Hebrews chapter 1, Hebrews said, He that has entered into that rest has ceased from under his own works. There Hebrews cometh a day of rest for the children of God. Jesus is my Sabbath. I've entered into his rest. Okay. What? What but, but, it, but it goes on to say, people who haven't entered into his rest, it says, they going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves to the righteousness which is of God by faith. What is Matthew 5, See, we're saved by said. faith, man. Romans 10, 13 says, whoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Doesn't, it doesn't tell you, Sabbath keeping, man, whoever calls on Jesus will be saved. Matthew 5, 17. Let's read it, man. Don't run off like a chicken now. Come on. Meeting starting, and we're not having a chicken. Hey, you okay. know what, man? You, you're having you heresy, it. man. You, had good you guys judgment. are a cult, man. You you're had a cult, man. It's okay. And you departed from Jesus. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Yes, you I departed heard. from Jesus, man. You said it over And you're a heretic. Yeah, I want to God beat it be into your head, man. God be the judge. You're trusting the law, and you're a slave child, and you're persecuting your freedom. You're deciding something you, you won't guys come and listen to. All the Christians that are worshiping on Sunday, they're Satan's children, and you're a heretic for teaching those fairy tales. Where are you going to take your Sabbath on? Your right hand or on your forehead? It's going to be a mark. The Greek word is mark. It's going to be an impression in your right hand or your forehead. It's going to be a real antichrist. It ain't a cow. What is the mark of the beast? The mark of the beast is probably a lithium microchip that the antichrist is going to force everyone, great and rich, small and poor, to put on their right hand or there on their forehead. It doesn't say Sunday worship. How are you going to have Sunday You're worship on, your, on time, your head or on your, on your right hand? Man. No, I'm not. I, I probably am with you. No, Jesus says I'm casting pearls before swine. I bet, you, hair, I bet you there's not one person that came by this thing. And I've got SDAs out for them. And when I get them out, they bring whole groups of them out. It's really cool. Man. Night, brother. I've, I've gotten SDAs out, man, and they'll bring a whole group out. Let's go there. Let's go there in a second. Hope you don't suffer for this. Suffer for this, brother. God says, He that says to the wicked, Thou art righteous, him shall the people curse, nations shall abhor him. I'm but a blessing about I'm about suffering in hell. Proverbs 24, 24, but a blessing shall be put on those who rebuke him fearlessly. Repent, are you gonna fry in hell like Ellen G. White is right now? She's in the hell, she lied about and said wasn't there. I'm not here.